CNBC TV 18 and Root Mobile present TED Talks, Navigating Digital Transformation. Hello and welcome to CNBC TV 18 and Root Mobile present Tech Talks, Navigating Digital Transformation. This is an enlightening interview series featuring experts from Root Mobile, a leading communication platform as a service or CPaaS provider. Now this comprehensive series will delve into the transformative impact of CPaaS solutions, digital fraud prevention, the power of omni-channel communication strategies and more. So today, I am joined by Alik Sequeira, Senior Vice President for Product at Root Mobile with over 15 years of experience in telecommunications industry across mobile network operators, CPaaS and network planning. Now, Alik has been instrumental in expanding Root Mobile's CPaaS vision from a then single channel to a present-day omni-channel powerhouse. Today, he joins us to discuss the impact of prevalent digital fraud types on businesses along with the challenges that they face in prevention and mitigation. Alik, great to have you with us on board and looking forward to our conversation. Let's start with looking at the most prevalent types of digital frauds that businesses are encountering today and how they affect their operations and reputation. Hey Gautam, thank you for having me today. Uh, so, regarding your question, um, we see a lot of forms of fraud every day as part of the work that we do. Uh, the most common one that we see is called phishing. Now here, the perpetrator tries to get access to your sensitive credentials by making a fake website that represents a brand or they send you an email that is spoofed that represents a brand. So as an end user, you get duped, you feel, oh, okay, someone's trying to reach out, I would share my credentials and that's it. There's account takeover and all of that. A newer trend is called wishing, voice phishing. So in wishing, someone tries to represent a brand representative, they give you a call, right? And on the call, they try to get you to divulge information, your age, your address, how long you've been associated, where do you stay, and so on. All of this is done with the intention to get information for further use. Mm. Now, that information is used in something known as SIM swap fraud. Mm. So, SIM swap, and you've seen this a lot in the news lately. A lot of business people are lo losing a lot of money by virtue of a simple SIM swap fraud. So, how does it work? Uh, you have a handset, you have a SIM. The fraudster, he goes to the operator, pretends to be you. Now, mind you, he's already got a lot of information about you through mm. phishing and wishing. He goes to the operator and he says, I've lost my SIM, these are my details, these are my ID cards, etc. He connives with someone at the operator and he gets a new SIM in your name and you don't even know about it because your network on your phone just goes dead. Mm -hmm. Now by having access to your SIM, you can just imagine the damage here. Mm. He can log into your bank, he can approve a transaction, he can get into your online shopping accounts and what not. And then again related to this, you have something called account, fake account fraud. Mm. So fake account fraud uh, is more of an onboarding issue. So you have a lot of brands who are interested in real world users coming onto their platform. They don't want fake users. They don't want bots. So what's fake account fraud? Someone who knows something about you can create a fake account mm. to represent the real you. Now in this case, it's not being operated or manned by the real person. Mm. So again, it's kind of useless for the brand. So these are scenarios that we see very common mm. and it affects a lot of digital first companies and it's in our interest to identify these and help brands mitigate these. All right, let's focus on that and expand on some of the points that you mentioned because when we look at phishing, wishing, SIM card uh, swap and other uh, you know digital fraud landscape expansion activities, the question I want to ask you is what are the challenges that brand themselves are facing in preventing and mitigating these fraudulent activities? Yeah, Gautam, so, uh, you know, every brand wants to offer that perfect experience mm. for today's digitally native user. And what that means is going direct to consumer. So the moment you start going direct to consumer, you're getting into a whole new territory of consumer fraud. And then added to that, as organizations expand, 
right? You have a lot of third parties coming into the mix. You outsource different aspects of your life cycle to th third parties. Brands tend to lack on the due diligence and any risk measures in place for onboarding these third parties. Mm. So what that means is you get in a lot of customers, you're enabling communication with these customers, but you're also at the mercy of a lot of fraud. So that's mm. customer fraud. All right. This also brings into focus a question on how do you look at identity? And if I have to add in a question on what does Root Mobile do in terms of unlocking identity and preventing digital fraud, you can expand on that with that question. Yeah. So you refer to me as Alik Sequera. That's my identity. Mm. This identity on a digital platform, right, is nothing but the representation between me as Alik and my digital presence. Mm. So that's what's identity. It's just a representation. So as I told you, uh, it all started when mobile numbers are about 4 billion. Today they are 11 billion unique numbers. Mm. So the, you know, the reach of mobile phones is expansive. It's all over. Literally everyone has it. So it's now the norm. Mm. Plus, internet, we all use internet. 70% of all internet traffic is coming via mobile. Mm. So you have mobile numbers and you have mobile devices. The two together become the best possible form of identity measure mm. today. And that's the space that we operate in. And that's what my next question is going to be about because in this context of preventing digital frauds, as you've said, the mobile universe has expanded today, technology is in everyone's hands. And of course, it's improved CX as well in a way of how the brand interacts with the user. But it brings about this question of walking the tightrope. And I want to understand how Root Mobile kind of enables a ro robust security interface while at the same time providing a seamless user experience for businesses and their customers. How do you walk that tightrope? In terms of customer experience, yes, we've seen the entire journey as Root Mobile, starting from 2FA, passwords, all of it, right? And we have a plethora of channels, whether it's SMS, WhatsApp, RCS, email, we can deliver OTPs on any channel. What we are doing now is MFA, multi-factor authentication, but it's a form of authentication that's silent. Because of our global operator base, right, and our tech, what we are doing is we are marrying the network element of the operators with the SIM credentials on the device. So the experience we're kind of offering is if a, if a user wants to log into an app, he puts his number, clicks login. When he hits login, I confirm with the operator, validate he has a SIM possession with him mm. and seamlessly log him in. There is no waiting for an OTP, no copy paste, no nothing. So that's the best in experience that we have. And uh, this is something that we're trying to work with operators and take to geographies. That's one. Uh, we also run a lot of mobile diagnostics. Mm. Uh, you know, so let's say you're trying to attempt a transaction. Uh, as Root Mobile, we're trying to understand the reputation of your IP address through which you come in. You know, whether it's a good IP, it's not a good IP. If it's not a good IP, we want to tell the brand, hey, this transaction looks shady. We want to understand profile and details about your mobile number. I want to understand, are you roaming? Are you in a location you're not supposed to be? You're saying you're in Mumbai, but you're somewhere else as per your operator, has your SIM swapped? Because we've seen SIM swap potential for misuse. That means it's someone else trying to impersonate you. Mm. So we look at all of these together and we try to help the brands understand the trustworthiness of a transaction. Let me put it that way. And if I understand the trustworthiness of the transaction, then I get greater confidence in mm. allowing the transaction to go through. All right. So that's how we are trying to you know, put this together. As they say, any advanced science is indistinguishable from magic. So the unique user experiences that we all undergo and what looks like seamless actually has a lot of technology working behind the scenes to prevent fraud, to enforce trust and make sure that the user experience still is seamless. Alik, let's talk about the big event. Uh, Root Mobile is, of course, having Root Amplify on the 9th of August. So tell us more about the event. Who should come and where is the value being delivered? Yeah, so Gotham, uh, it's our first event of this kind. Uh, it's in Mumbai, 9th of August, as you mentioned. Uh, we invite a lot of CIOs, CISOs, risk officers, product managers, uh, anyone on digital data analytics. These are the people who need to be there. 
what we are going to showcase is the best in tech, especially mobile tech, because Root Mobile is mobile leading tech, right? So it's all going to be mobile, mobile identity. And we're going to talk about the common problems that uh, industries face and the solutions that we have delivered for that. So I feel it's a must event and it's going to be fun as well. All right, mark that date on your calendar, ladies and gentlemen. Meanwhile, it's a wrap here on Tech Talks, navigating digital transformation with Alik Sequeira. Alik, thank you so much for joining us for this conversation and thank you to our viewers for tuning in. See you next time. CNBC TV 18 and Root Mobile present Tech Talks, navigating digital transformation.